Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but... She's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's going to stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. We're not back in three months. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
Try the polite approach. Get them every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. first. Room 43 and get the hell out of here. I found it, Jody. Good job.
I'll wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I changed my mind! I want my baby! So they do quickly! Please! Get the baby out of here! Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was my fault. you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm going to, I'm going to get you out of here. I'm going to help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that.
<laughs> I'll always be with you. Sorry, Jody. Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. <laughs> it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Ivan. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home, he's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? 
What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the Infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. You found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. You can stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody.
According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Now, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infra world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will... Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra World yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. Fuck you, Ryan. So you're still angry then? You really think that you can just come back here and pretend like nothing happened? Jody, I... Shh. Don't talk, so you won't have to lie. Right. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? out here. Could you please find somewhere we can hide? There's a house! 
house over there! Got it! Let's go! What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days, walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Find something, and we won't make it through the night. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? Minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside.
They're loading crates into... into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Get rid of them. Wait. Get rid of the soldiers first. What do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? I've piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. That fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. You do realize we might not make it back alive, right? Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. Visibility 
he's bad. It's hard to get my bearings. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. No, say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? That looks painful. All you have to do is answer, and your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. This is so unnecessary. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. My name is Holmes. Jody, no. Jody Holmes. Agent 8-9-4-7-3-2. I work with the CIA. So the CIA is aware of our little experiments. And what about the entity that was trapped in our... I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and 
how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? You know! I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? That looks painful. All you have to do is answer. And your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. This is so unnecessary. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. Commander, An urgent request demands my attention. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. What's <laughs> Jody, don't get too close to them. We can't just wait here. Condenser before they realize something's up. The door over there. That must be the way. The condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. Ah! Jody! Jody, what's happening? That's it. Get off! One patam! Bye, Tamen Likai! Woman Yao went Tamen!
什么事，回你的营区去。我的天哪、啊，怎么回事？哎哎！我跟你们说，别碰这儿！我的天哪、啊，怎么一回事？我哪知道啊！我看你别再喝酒了。Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. You're crazy. 
Hey, Jordan, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. It's too late, Jordan. We gotta go now. It's the only way. You know that. The explosives. They need the explosives in the interrogation room. Close, okay? It's pitch black. There's gotta be a light on this thing. Keep calm, Aiden.
you going to die here with me? The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you stupid American bitch! Years of work! All for nothing! Make you pay for what you've done! I didn't think I'd let you down, huh? Hole's breach. We're gonna drown. We're not far from the surface. Maybe we can make it to the top alive. Yeah. Sounds like a fucking good plan.
Sorry about your eye. <laughs> no, it's okay. You made the right choice. I would have done the same thing. You still angry with me? I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. In other circumstances, I'd be very. <laughs> I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Yeah. Yeah, I love you, Ryan. Right?